Hi, today we will be discussing about payoffs. You should understand what is the meaning of payoffs, what are the different types of payoffs that we receive from different financial instruments. For example, you have equity, you have forwards, you have futures or you have options. So you should understand what kind of payoffs that these particular instruments give to us. Let's say you have taken a share of let's say 100 units. You held it for some time and this jumped to 110. So what is your payoff? Your payoff is the difference between the cost price that that was paid earlier and the current market price. So here it is 10. This is the payoff. And if similarly if it goes to 90, then you have a minus 10 as payoff. So this is called positive we incurred a loss over here. So this is called the negative payoff. Now I'm giving an same example on different price points. Same as 100 is your purchase price. Now let's say price 1 becomes 110. Let's say price 2 or I say I will say P2. P3, P4, so if I will put a horizontal line, let's say 110, 90, 120, 150, like that. So your payoffs are, so here it will be having 10, it will have negative 10, you have 20, so you have 50. So as your price moves up, your payoff also goes high. And if your price goes down, your pay payoff becomes less. So if I will put this into a graph, at price point 100, your payoff will be 0. Correct? Because there is no difference. So there is zero payoff. Yeah. So at price point, if I will say x axis as price and y axis as payoff, then you have zero payoff at this point in time. Somewhere here. If I make it as 90, I have a negative payoff of 10. Yeah. So at price point 90, so that means my point will be somewhere here. And at 100, the point will be somewhere here. At 110, the point will be somewhere here where the payoff is positive 10. Yeah. So the point will be somewhere here. If you plot a graph, the graph will look something like this. Sorry. Yeah. The graph will look something like this. And this point where it will meet the y-axis will be exactly 100 with the cost price. Same. Right. So it is a straight line. Now this is a linear graph. It is a linear. So we call it as linear payoff. Let us see what are the other instruments that give such kind of a linear payoffs. We will also discuss about all these forward, future and options how this they are payoffs so i think you have already understood what is the fundamental concept about the payoff 
we will just go to see each and each individual instruments how they are behaving when the price changes if the price moves up like this then your forward contract price also moves in the similar fashion the payoff is also going to be in a linear fashion that means let's say 100 is the underlying price and when you have a booking a three month forward let's say 100 your price of the forward contract becomes 105 and if it moves like 110 90 120 150 your price between in the forward contract is also going to move in the similar fashion like 105 115 95 etc 125 etc so it will move in the similar fashion the pay of graph for the forward contract also will be looking like this only similarly you, your future contracts also the payoff will look like because pay, the difference between the forward and future contracts are forwards are OTC traded futures are exchange traded both type of instruments will give similar kind of linear payoffs what will happen to options options has a different profile Okay, coming to options, you can take a long position or you can take a short position, you can take long on call position, you can take long on put position, you can take short on call position and short on put. So, here I have uh, drawn a pay of a profile for long call option. Now, from as 100, Either you exercise the option or you do not exercise the option, it does not make any sense. Uh, you have in paid already the premium amount and that is your effective loss. Now if it moves to 101, what will going to happen is that you slowly, you will exercise your option, buy it from the option seller at uh, 100 and then sell to the market participants at 101 and therefore you are going to make money one and you are going to recover some portion of the premium amount that you have already paid which is 5 now slowly slowly you will start recovering and when it becomes 105 then you will recover fully and you become a no profit no loss kind of situation and from here on if it moves beyond this point then you are going to make money and if 50 becomes 90, then you are not going to exercise your option. You are as good as um, being a neutral observer and you are only losing uh, 5 in the as option premium. So if I draw the pay of a profile over here and this is my price, so my profile looks like this. Now, <coughs> if I have to draw the diagram for the sort, it's a very simple Thing I have to do the money that this person is going to get is the same money that the short person is going to lose what I have to do is exactly it will be the mirror opposite so I will draw a diagram like this and then like this so <coughs> it will be exactly like looking like a funnel if I remove this axis it will look like a funnel so once I have hundred and here we have taken the long put position long put means you have bought the rights to sell at certain price what is the that is the strike price so let's assume that this is the same as, as the previous example it's the same as 100 now if the market price is at 100 you may or may not exercise the option it is not going to give any value so if it is 100 you are essentially making a loss of the premium amount and if it goes beyond 100 let's say 110 you are not going to exercise the option rather you will sell it at the market so beyond this 100 your loss is going to be only 5 that is the premium portion 
Now, if it comes less than 100, if it becomes 99, what you're going to do is you buy from the market at 99 and sell at 100 to the option seller. You're going to get one and that one is going to recover partially whatever premium amount that you have already paid. So you are going to recover and slowly you, you will be coming to the money making. Now when it becomes 95, then you have recovered 5 and that will be effectively the amount that you have already paid. So 95 will become your no profit, no loss zone. And beyond this, that means 94, 93 and all, you are going to make the money. So, for long put, if I will draw the diagram, it will look like this. Now, similarly, if I draw the diagram for the short put, I will do similar mirror opposite and it will look like this. So, if you remember these funnels, it is very easy to tell what kind of a PFO profile a short put will have, a short call will have or long call or long put will have. So it's very easier. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have understood the concept about the PFO profiles. Um, we will discuss about the formula and all uh, which will help you in uh, resolving the problems in other videos.